march from Palmyra, erected in New York City, led to the Temple of Baal. It stood between the two major, right, almost right, almost exactly in the middle, of the two great temples of Baal. Both, both of them were destroyed last year by ISIS. The arch is an act of defiance to rebuild, standing for the destroyed arch and the temples. A fallen icon, a temple. It actually, you know, there's no, the temple of Baal Shamim is gone. The temple of, it's a temple of culture. It stood, it's now in ruins. Show the, I'm going to show you kind of like a satellite picture of the ruins. That's where the temple of Baal Shamim was. I was led to do something. Since we were erecting, we were, they were erecting the arch from Palmyra in, in New York City, what would happen if we transposed ancient Palmyra onto New York City? Based on where they put the arch, its location, its orientation, its angle, and by that, that it, it pointed to the temple of Baal in Palmyra. So I asked Scott Pinto to trace it out, get the exact distance, his exact feet. He did so on the satellite, did so on maps, and the exact orientation of the angle, relative angles, distance to the temple of Baal, or Baal Shemayim, Shemim. Where the temple of Baal, or the ruins of the temple of Baal is now, it's a place of fallen buildings, so we were down there, we charted it out, he charted it on the map, followed it, where did we end up? Where did the arch point to where the Temple of Baal would be? It was in New York City, stood on the ground, where the Temple of Baal ruins, destroyed buildings were. I want you to see the next one, and this is it. It leads to ground zero. We went by the exact feet it leads to the destruction of America's temple. It leads to the place where the harbingers appeared. It leads to the place where they said, we will rebuild. It leads to the place where terrorists attacked. What was done there, and we said, we will rebuild in defiance. And there, there where it all began. Where it all began. It was actually 1,259 feet to find it. And that's where we ended up exactly to ground zero. What does the appearance of the sign of Baal, the harbinger of Baal, signify? Signifies a nation that once had worshipped God. Now, not only has it fallen away from God, it is now coming against God and his ways. It signifies an America that was to be a city on a hill, used of God, blessed of God, that America that we still could see signs of growing up is fading away. This is a different America. And it is now accelerating in that progression that we can see the spirit of Baal, not just in a part of America, not, not just in the shadows of American culture, not just in a part of mainstream, but we are seeing it take over the culture. 